Hi, I'm Christian from makeusoft.com and in this video we're going to show you how to add a touchscreen display to your Raspberry Pi. To do this we've used the official 7 inch touchscreen display from Raspberry Pi Partners Element 14 available for $30 and a Raspberry Pi 3. While you can connect any of the Raspberry Pi A or B models to this display only the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 have the correct mounting holes. Before proceeding make sure you have a Phillips screwdriver and a towel. You should also power up your Pi and run the following five commands in the terminal one by one. With the Pi updated power down safely with the sudo shutdown command and disconnect from the power supply. Take the usual anti-static precautions too. Place your towel on the table then the touchscreen display face down so the towel protects it from possible scratches. Don't forget to retrieve the ribbon cable, the four jumper leads and the packet of screws from the box. We're going to assume that the display board is attached to the display already. You'll need to ensure that the orange ribbon cables are slotted into the correct ports if this is not the case. Next, we need to connect the four jumper leads to the four pins on the side of the display board. Your wires may differ, but try to match them to the appropriate function, such as red to the 5 volt pin. This ensures you power the display from the Pi, but you may prefer to simply power it with an additional USB cable. Connecting the ribbon cable, which carries the video signal to the display, is next. This is inserted into the connector blue side down. Ensure that the catch is clicked into place to secure the ribbon. You presumably know how to use a screwdriver already, so mount the Raspberry Pi onto the display board with the GPIO pins situated above the four pins you plug the jumper wires into. With the Pi secure, connect the jumper wires to the GPIO 5 volt to 5 volt, ground to ground, etc. as per this image. You can then connect the ribbon cable to the Pi, again ensuring the catch is fully secured when the cable is in place. All you need to do now is boot up. If you set up your Pi touchscreen with one or two popular frame options, um, such as available from PiMaraudi.com, uh, you may find that the display is upside down. This is easily fixed. Just connect via SSH to your Pi and enter the sudo nano space forward slash boot forward slash config dot txt command in order to edit the file. At the top of the file, enter lcd underscore rotate equals two. Press control X to exit, Y to confirm, then enter and then reboot. The new orientation should now be set. By default, the Pi should boot into the X desktop environment. If this doesn't seem to happen, Open Raspi config via SSH. Select expand file system, then enable and finish to reboot. Once the Pi restarts, it should boot into and display the X desktop. Enjoy your new touchscreen display and don't forget to check our vast library of Raspberry Pi projects at makeuseof.com. 